We're gonna talk about a few features here on the Sunflower that kind of sets them apart from the competition. Right here on the front, we have the UHMW that's in this point right here. It's in the same, the same plastic as in your rock shafts, all your hinge points on the Sunflower. This is a big selling point being a maintenance free option on these things. Pretty much these new disc hairs, they have nothing to grease on them except wheel bearings. A few other small spots, but as far as gang bearings, hinge points, there's no other greasing has to be done on these things for daily maintenance. Some companies uh, promote that they have what they call true tandem, which uh, is the way the, uh, the front gangs uh, uh, address each other. So they, they, uh, they come in where they butt together. As you can see on ours, uh, our gangs do not butt together. One gang set is uh, running slightly ahead of the, uh, the opposite side. And this is called a, a staggered overlapping disc gang design. So with this design, you can see that this soil pattern off left, off of right, it's never actually falling into each other. It's, uh, it's kind of feathering it back in one side uh, feathers and the, the other side feathers as well. The advantage to this is that the, this unit cuts the same depth all the way across the, uh, the width of the tool. And the next thing we're gonna look at is the C-Flex hanger here on the gangs. A lot of customers will look at them sometime and think that they're bent, but that's the way they're designed. They got a little bit of angle from the top to the bottom to allow residue to flow between the C-Flex hanger and the disc. Just controls the residue from building up in those points. Some of the other general attributes about the way we build our, our tillage equipment, uh, things like the amount of steel we put in and the, and the quality of steel. Uh, four and a half stringers, uh, like this one for example, uh, this is half inch sidewall material. And um, you'll find that half inch on the outside, on the inside stringer, all through the, uh, the main frame. And um, you'll notice too that there's a lot of additional cross bracing on all of our frames too. And this is this all is, is um, in the interest of, of strength in the tool. There's a, a lot of uh, uh, forces uh, at work uh, against the frame. Um, you got uh, ground engaging uh, disc gangs or uh, vertical tillage gangs front and rear um, trying to, uh, to force the, the frame to do this way or that way. And, and it takes a lot of strength to, uh, to um, stand up to those kind of forces. On these three section model sunflowers with the heavy duty frame, the weight that's in on them from the steel that's in these units, you have 23 degree angles of movement in your wings to move up and down to contour the field. That allows for this unit to run through washes, through across terraces, and still maintain depth and cut while running over those um, hills or valleys or whatever else might be in your field that's not level and flat. We do things like uh, cap all of our tubes. You won't find any uh, open uh, tubes or uh, pipes um, on our equipment. This frame is actually um, checked by, uh, by laser uh, to be within a certain tolerance. Every frame that comes through there is, is checked. And um, if we make a, a slight error, that computer will find it for us. So that's the level of quality that uh, is uh, designed, manufactured, and uh, built into, uh, into our equipment.